Hey! How are we all doing? Good enough. Good enough. So, uh, I begin tonight with a, a bit of a public service announcement. Uh, in case you have not heard, don't shake a baby. It's a pretty widespread campaign. If you haven't heard it, make your pledge now because uh, we're trying to get the shit eradicated. It is the number one leading cause of death uh, of four-year-olds with shitty parents. So, uh, you know, just make sure that you make that pledge to not shake a baby. If you need more information about this, you can visit don'tshakeababy.org. Which I'm kind of wondering if we need a website for something so simple. I, 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 I kind of understand what we're talking about with just the whole don't. Don't shake a baby. I'm on board. But I'm a curious person, so I checked out the website. Uh, did not have the kind of information that I was looking for. If I'm on the verge of shaking the shit out of a child, I need options. I need alternatives. They didn't have any of that. And I'm not saying anything expansive, just a short list of things that I can do, like set the baby down in a safe place and then go masturbate furiously somewhere, uh, strangle a stuffed animal or a throw pillow, shake the shit out of one of your regular size kids. I don't know, just give me some, some out. None of that. Uh, what they did have was a hotline, which I thought, all right, making an effort there. I uh, was kind of wondering who gets that job. Like, how do you become the shaken baby hotline guy? In my mind, this is the person that wants to work for the suicide hotline, but they're not quite there yet. <laughs> like, eh, we don't think you're ready to talk somebody off the ledge, but do you think you could prevent them from shaking a child? <laughs> yeah. Welcome aboard. It'd be, uh, it'd be a fun uh, phone conversation over here, I think. Shaken baby hotline. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about shaking my baby. Well, don't do that. <laughs> Sir, you could give the child shaken baby syndrome, which is a fucking cop-out. Why would you call it that? That's like there's some defect with the kid. Well, he was born with it, so, you know, there's not a whole lot we can do other than shake the shit out of him. It's unfortunate. More apt name might be uh, shitty parent syndrome. That's like if you knock the hell out of your girlfriend and the cops arrive and they're like, uh, how'd she get these black eyes? Well, she's got a pretty bad case of uh, loudmouth bitch syndrome. So, <laughs> something she struggles with, not me. <laughs> I, uh, I was driving to work the other day. Um, on the corner of the road, there was a uh, bum with a sign that reads, homeless, anything helps. So I gave him my real estate agent's card. Problem solved from my end. I mean, fucking, there you go, buddy. And then I lit him up with the finger guns. Just uh, in good faith, you know? You don't have to be good to be a Samaritan. To do work. <laughs> yeah, that is terrible. Uh, I'm wondering at what point in this country every business owner decided the best marketing campaign was to put a high school dropout on the corner of a street with a spinning cardboard sign. <laughs> when did this overtake every other part of media? It's so, it's so widespread, it's unbelievable. I was sitting in traffic watching one of these mini mall maestros do his thing the other day, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, do they pay these kids a regular wage in addition to the ecstasy that they're feeding them? <laughs> I have never seen more inspired, energetic, artistic dance moves than out of the fucking kid that's trying to sell me two-for-one blackjack. It's, it's pretty incredible. They're good for what they do. And I think certain businesses, this is okay. I mean, like for food, places, eateries. Other businesses, not so much. You know, there's a level of professionalism that you want to keep. If I saw a kid spinning a sign for a subway shop, I wouldn't be ashamed to say, yeah, I went and had a fucking sandwich because I saw the kid on the corner. I would be ashamed to say that I got my taxes done for that reason. <laughs> like, Bill, did you file this year? Yeah, you know what, I took it down to the, uh, well, you know the place with the uh, uh, teenage speed freak that's dressed like the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> I'm gonna let them handle it this year, yeah. I figure, you know, why risk an audit? Let a professional handle it. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. 
looking at ways to make money, extra money, always uh, looking into that, uh, was looking into sperm donation as a possibility. And uh, sperm banks, if you get approved, they will give you up to $100 per donation, which is pretty high. When I heard that, I was a little disappointed because in high school, I had a hand towel underneath my bed that was worth at least 10 grand. <laughs> Fucking, I mean, to hell with baseball cards. I'm sorry I ever threw that away. Kidding, kidding. I still have the hand towel. Uh, I don't like the name Sperm Bank, though. It's not, uh, I mean, bank, you keep really valuable things in a bank, like money, gold. Sperm doesn't fit in that category to me. Uh, case in point, I've never seen a robbery go down on the street where the mugger's like, all right, empty your fucking pockets. Give me all your cash and all your jewelry. Good. Now empty your bowls. Never happened. Never happened. <laughs> um, I hate this. So when you're talking to somebody, uh, they, this is a habit that people have, and it's really annoying. You ask somebody a very straightforward question, and they feel it necessary to qualify that with a follow-up question. Example, you turn to somebody and you're like, God, this traffic is unbelievable. How long do you think it'll take us to get home? And they go, realistically? What other fucking option is there, man? <laughs> Pretend we're in the matrix and then answer that question. Let's go again. You're Morpheus, I'm Neo. We'll try again. Or uh, you ask them something like, yeah, man, I interviewed with your company this week. Do you think I'll get the job? Honestly? That's nice to know that the truth was an option, but I guess we're both gonna be happier with the fiction, so uh, bring that. Worse, you give somebody a completely absurd question and uh, they still feel it's necessary to qualify it with a follow-up. You're like, so do you think you chime travel that uh, you would get jet lag? They're like, hypothetically? <laughs> no, your experience in time travel. Like last summer when you went back to the Middle Ages, how, were you groggy the next day at all? No? Uh, another annoying habit with people, uh, you ask them, usually young couples, uh, you ask them the question, are you thinking about having kids? And they, they give you that smarmy, cutesy response, our pets are our kids. Aww. Oh, yeah, you do it, don't you? Oh, fuck that. <laughs> pets are not children, they're fucking pets. It's fine to say they're part of our family, that's great. But you wouldn't say that any more than if somebody's like, uh, so are you married? You're like, well, my wife is my, my dog is my wife. That's fucking weird. You shouldn't be saying that. If you're claiming your pets as children, here's what you have to look forward to. They're functionally retarded. They have the worst hygiene on the planet and you're gonna outlive all of them. Sign up for that. Yeah, good parenting. Just food for thought. I mean, if somebody's like, oh, hey, my pets are my kids. So was that your firstborn on the lawn eating his own feces just now? <laughs> he seems like a bright kid. Is he talking about college yet? <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this. Um, I am not a religious person at all. Um, I don't know much about Jesus. I do know a little bit about carpentry. And I know that if you can't get a couple of nails out of your hands, you are not a very good carpenter. It's fair, I mean, I, he had the whole Son of God thing to fall back on, and I think that that's fortunate. The Bible had described him as a poor carpenter, I just never knew that he was that shitty. <laughs> Anyways, my name's Toby, thank you guys very much.